to be a star, baby, to be on my show. You don't have to be a star, baby, to be on my show. Oh, honey, I'll accept you as you are, because I don't need no superstar. I can't afford them. Ah, you don't have to be a star, baby, to be on my show. Welcome to the Eden Show, broadcasting live from beautiful downtown Wakefield, Rhode Island. Make sure you tell me in the comments where you are watching tonight. We're so glad you are. I have some very special guests tonight. We're going to sing and play and teach, but I promise it'll be fun. Because it's Friday night. You don't have to be a star, baby to be on my show you don't have to be a star baby to be on the eden show welcome hey steven thank you so much for joining us thank you everybody who is joining us tonight uh i'm here in my studio in beautiful downtown wakefield rhode island the temperature here is i don't know it's cold guys it's cold but it's not as cold as Texas and we love you Texas and we are so glad that you're getting through this time we love you Louisiana Mississippi all those places that normally taunt us in the winter we are with you and we hope that you're uh, getting better and better so but up here in beautiful Wakefield Rhode Island uh, we're used to that cold so uh, if you've seen previous shows or if you've ever been in this studio in beautiful Wakefield Rhode Island we have a hole over there now so i'm having some construction done at my house so actually today i was teaching lessons in my bedroom and i said now i feel like a real new yorker so uh, i'm looking forward to having my whole studio back and i want to thank the good people at uh, de stefano uh, construction and builders in wakefield Rhode island they've done a wonderful job and i look forward to giving you like studio tour so you think I should do that? Maybe like one of those Instagram things where I, I could give the tour and everything is sparkly and yeah, maybe, I don't know. I can't get that far. So anyway, on this day, all right, I love history. I love history. And there's some, I looked up one of those websites to show like all the different history facts in the world. So on this day in 1847, I know that you need to know this, the Donner Party was rescued from the Nevada mountains after intermittently fasting for several months. That was on this day in 1847, February 19th. On this day in 1878, Thomas Edison was granted a patent for the gramophone and his wife complained it was too loud. On this day in 1940, Smokey Robinson was born in Detroit. Ooh, baby, baby. We were glad. On this day in 1973, Tony Orlando and Don Release the song. Name that tune. Okay, tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Oh, good. Marion's watching from Ponte Vedra, Florida. Cool. My guest tonight is also in Florida. And on this day in 2021, the incomparable Leland Brown joined us from Florida. Ooh. Welcome, Leland. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Did you know this song was about getting out of jail? No, I, I, no, I, I thought it was about coming home from service. Yeah, it could be that. It can be whatever we want it to be. Music can be whatever we want it to be. That's my story. I'm sticking with it. That's exactly it. <laughs> All right. So now I'm just looking up on my sheet music here so that way you can sing your first song. So yes, Leland is talking to us from beautiful what part of Florida? Winter Garden. Winter Garden, middle of the state, top of the state, bottom of the uh, state. Uh, Central Florida. We're actually technically in or in Orlando, and we're right behind Walt Disney World's um, Magic Kingdom. So this is a great song, right? It is. And you're gonna sing it. Why do you choose this one before you start singing? It. Tell me why you want to start with this. Am I sure? Am I correct in that you're doing the difference? It's what I uh, yeah say. okay <laughs> I, I picked this song oh it's like okay like, that's i know story. intros that's are a story hard. for another time anyway intros are hard right what okay. a difference a day makes right I, I like this song because uh, one of my favorite favorite vocalists was dinah washington she's great and uh my mother used to play her music a lot when 
you know, when I was a kid. So I heard it all the time, Dinah Washington, Dinah Washington and Brooke Benton and things like that. And uh, she just had that voice that just stuck in my head. Uh, and I loved it. So this goes, what a difference a day made. Twenty-four little hours brought the sun and the flowers where they used to be rain. Ah, yesterday was blue, dear. Today I'm part of you, dear. My lonely nights are through, dear. Since you said you'd be mine, what a difference a day made. There's a rainbow before me, skies above may be stormy. Since that moment of bliss, that is, it's heaven when you find romance on your menu. What a difference a day made, and that difference is you. I can do two hands. I, I miss Joe Potenza very much. <laughs> He's such a great guy. I'm telling you, I love working with him. And he, he sings things, sees things differently. Yes. I use my left hand a lot and I sometimes think what would Joe Potenza do oh great we just had a stink bug fall onto the keys thank you Joe <laughs> come and bring back back again God what God. a difference <laughs> a day made. what a difference a stink bug makes there's a rainbow before me he must have come from Florida skies above may be stormy Don't with be stink bugs that. since that moment of bliss that feeling is in Find romance on your menu. What a difference a day made. And that difference is you. <sighs> we survived that. No, really, honest to God, there's a stink bug right here on my keyboard. Oh, man. It's 20. Well, he's probably, you know, trying to hide out from the cold. Well, that's not right. Tell him to get his own house. Exactly. <laughs> well, my husband likes to plant a lot of stuff. I mean, he has a lot of greenery in the yep. house and we yep. have all this renovation going on. So I think that they're all just kind of like disrupted. And as the, I'm sure as the workers come in and out, they go, look, there's an opening. Go for it. Yeah. No, it's just funny. I was just sitting here looking and I'm looking at you in the screen. All of a sudden it was a psh. Like, what? <laughs> what? Thank you for watching from Beverly, Massachusetts. Thank you for watching from Pennsylvania, Sarah. Thanks for watching from Batunic. Uh, yeah, so Tracy saying hi to you, Leland. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, we've got people watching. This is fun. Hey, peace. So we're getting the hearts. We appreciate it very much. Thank you for watching. Oh, if you love this, oh, let me get out this little thing so that way we can make it all pretty and official. Where's my branding? I got a brand, Leland. You know, I got a brand. There, yeah. boom, boom. So Leland Brown is going to sing jazz and blues from sunny Florida. If you're enjoying the show, you can buy me a coffee or any other libation you like, because clearly I need them. And you can do that at buymeacoffee.com or at Venmo. And also coming up in this hour is Mrs. Laura's Nest. Yeah. And she's out in Colorado, right? Yeah. We had a fun time talking. And so Leland, you are a former music educator. I am. Yep. I Once am. a music educator, always a music educator. And always, always. Yeah, um, I've ta taught all levels from preschool to college, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I, sometimes I tell people my favorite is middle school, and most people go what? But it's a uh, they're tweens, you know. That's mm -hmm. that age where, in if you look at elementary school, they're the oldest, and if you look at high school, they're the youngest. So they're confused most of the time, not knowing what what am I really? I'm just sort of mystery in between, you know. Who am I? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just a tween. Tween. Right? Yeah, yep. it's tough to be a tween. It's yeah. tough. Did you yeah. grow up easy? Was it easy for you? Like, 
Uh, yeah, uh, I never knew there was <laughs> yeah, a problem. No. Uh, you know, my uh, I had an older sister, uh-huh. and uh, four years older, and she basically was, besides my mom, was one of my first um, teachers. You know, mm-hmm. she taught me how to ride a bike, how to flip over fences, how to uh, climb, how to jump from uh, second store floors, and things like that. You know. All those happy things. All those things that we like sisters to teach. How to run. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, a shout out to my Aunt Lee, Leela Barband in Attica, Indiana, who is turning 90 this weekend. And she's my mother's older sister, older by 11 years. And so she helped raise my mom growing up totally. Cool. Yeah. 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 She's she's wonderful. My Aunt Lee's a rock star completely. So, um, yeah. And her big story, I don't know. she, She called my mother Stinky. (laughs) <laughs> I remember hearing about that because my mother was the little, you know, second one. And she had an older brother, too, Uncle Bruce. And Bruce was 10 years older. So when my so when my mother was six years old and Bruce was 16, it was his job to teach little Risa how to ride a bike. So he took her up to the top of a hill in Lafayette, Indiana. He said, OK, kid. Pedal. Oh, no. Is that not older brother for you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She remembered that always. I'm I think sure she forgave she him eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but, but yeah, so siblings can do that to you, man. They totally can. So did you, who, where did you get your love of music from? My mom, Mom? my mom. And then my sister obviously got it from her and she, uh, went to college and became, you know, was a music major and was going to be a music teacher, did it for a short period of time. And then at that time, women were not, uh, music educators. They just, um, so she ended up switching and going into elementary ed, and she was like one of the best at elementary ed. She, um, she had wonderful classes, could, uh, accomplished a lot in her classroom. Mm-hmm. So, but my mom played music. Mm-hmm. You know, she'd come home from work, she'd put on music. Mm-hmm. And Saturday was clean house day. So there was music playing every day, every Saturday, all day. And my mom loved jazz. Mm-hmm. So that's where my love of jazz came from. Like that one? Yep. And I did. Made me think about her. <laughs> and I'm, get, I'm giving you a chance to get your lyrics up, right? I'm ready. Or do you know this one by heart? Um, pretty much, yeah. I, I can always make up stuff. This is true. And we're going to do that later on, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna, you get to help Leland make up some songs later on. So right now he gets to sing all the stuff that, you know, he's got rehearsed. But we're going we're gonna to make him work for this hour. All right. Okay. So really? be thinking about like the first line of a song that has something to do with the weather. You get to make up the lyric and then Leland has to make up the rest of the song. Boom. All right. But this one you get to Yay. do, right? Okay. This is I Thought About You. Is that okay. Right? Yeah. I Thought okay. About You. So uh, what, what speed you like it? Actually, no. This was written by Miles Davis and Frank Sinatra. It was. Yes. They were friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is good. All right. This is I did not know this. All right, Bill says, yes, and she rode a motorcycle. Your sister rode a motorcycle. Yes, she did. We used to go on motorcycle rides all the time. Love her. We'd go away for like 7, 10, 12 days just riding. Okay, all right, I'm going to sing now. That's okay. You're going to sing about her, and we're going to think about the people we love right now. Okay, here we go. I took a trip on a train, and I thought about you. I passed a shadowy lane and I thought about you. Two or three cars parked under the stars, a winding street. Moon shining down on some little town, and with each beam, that same old dream. And every stop that we made, well, I thought about you. And when I pulled down the shade, then I really felt blue. I peeked through the crack and looked at the track, the one going back to you. And what did I do? I thought about you. What do you do when there's not an instrumental break? Uh, <laughs> I guess that's one thing. I can't do that. 
You can. No. I know it's like uh, <laughs> peek through the crack. <laughs> it's like otherwise I'm gonna have to make up all oh, these oh, notes oh, up here. Like, like, oh, like, uh, oh, 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 I don't want to make up notes. Oh, it's like uh, like uh, what do you call that uh, when you growl? All right. Can I get a Louis Armstrong? Uh, that yeah. sounds like bad. No, not that, that kind of growling. Like, I don't know. Um, I see that he does PR for Louis Armstrong with the tonsillitis. Well, oh, it's kind of Louis Armstrong by way of, uh, don't, no, no, kind of Wait. Inspector Clouseau. It, yeah. it does not work. Armstrong Clouseau. Armstrong Clouseau. <laughs> save me. Save me, okay. Leland. Go back in. And every stop that we made, <laughs> well, I thought about you. And when I pulled down the shade, then I really felt blue. I peeked through the crack and looked at the track, the one leading back to you. And what did I do? And what did I do? What did you do? Well, what did I do? I thought about you. We survived that. Yeah. Good. So yeah, Sarah was saying, what are you know? What is she, I believe she's using Soundjack and something else too. Actually, you know what? Tonight we're not using any of that. Amazingly so. Yeah. So this week, Leland is such a good sport, ladies and gentlemen. He is such a good sport that we started doing Soundcheck last Sunday after the Eden Show with Ryan Buter. That yeah. Soundcheck went fine, right? Then what was that? Wednesday? Yeah. We did our uh, second Soundcheck, and it was a disaster. Yeah, well, there was some there was some glitches. <laughs> Spran uh, laughing. The first time. Yeah, <laughs> there was some glitches the first time, but not that bad. But yeah, Wednesday was a total disaster, <laughs> and we established that it was because of the age of my computer, which was how old? Eleven years old. Eleven years old. Come on, but that's not like in dog years. <laughs> that's just eleven years. And come on, I was very happy with my computer. I don't mind. I didn't mind waiting because it was slow, yeah. um, a, a very slow. Um, like I'd reboot sometimes, and I'd have time to go get a cup of coffee, make a sandwich, you know, run to the mailbox and come back. But yeah, so, but you know, so I put the big one and bought a computer. He did, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he bought a computer. Bought a computer. I am so proud of you. Thank and you. And I'm honored that I was the one who tipped you over to the edge. <laughs> yeah. no, you didn't tip me. You pushed me. <laughs> he said, your computer push. is so slow. <laughs> These words, tip, push, prod, threaten, cajole. I mean, so many words. Hey, right, right. I don't mean the same thing. But it was so cute. So I was in the middle of teaching a lesson. And all of a sudden, he texted me. He said, I'm at Best Buy. I'm at Best Buy. And so we tried uh, a couple of connections and boom, they happen so fast. Yep. So you are now on this beautiful new computer, which is yes, nice and I speedy, am. right? Hashtag Mac, hashtag Apple, hashtag Best Buy. Thank you. Yep. I'll put all those. Yeah, please give me that money. Yes. Oh, your dear wife is writing in here. Good job, Eden. Finally. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Um, I, I must admit, she tried to tip me over the edge several times, but I wasn't biting. You I were not biting. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's hard. It's change is hard. I'm besides, I'm retired. I have time to wait. I have time to wait. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know, don't you want to do something else in your retirement besides waiting for Chrome to download? Well, I can do other things while I'm waiting. Okay. How do you multitask? What do you do while you are waiting for things to download? Um, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> Make coffee, learn lyrics. Make coffee, learn lyrics, work on yeah. lyrics. Yeah. yeah. Go for a power walk, all that stuff. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. No Sarah power. says congratulations on the new machine. She just got a new Mac as well. Oh, cool. So, oh, yeah. They're great. And new computers are really fun, and they, they can do a lot. And so, yes, I'm using Ethernet tonight. He'd rather, Bill says, he'd rather buy a new motorcycle. That's true. That's true. Well, actually, I did that, so I'm okay. Okay. Oh, you already so got that. Yeah. yeah Lee oh, Brown. Yeah. Lee Besson says hi. He's out snow plowing. Lee! Yeah. So all your friends are watching, and they're all probably nodding vigorously. Thank God he got a new computer. 
Right. I was going to get a Windows, but but it doesn't. Um, you, you can't use uh, what is that? Um, um, the guitar app looks. I mean, it looks like guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Who was anyway, was writes in? What's that guitar that app? program? So oh, Bill guitar, is this not Guitar Hero? Oh yeah, yeah, Guitar. Well, yeah. No, that's Guitar Hero. Anyway, I I can't think of it, but I can't. I, um, Mrs. Laura is going that. to show us in a little while actually some different uh, fun music apps that we can do. So I'm looking forward to that. But Bill Thomas, is this this gentleman that's in one of these pictures here that we should talk about? Yes. So did you may show that one first. Yeah, show the show the picture. Like this one. Okay, this that's one? his. That's the album that um, he produced, mm -hmm. and um, it's a great album for kids. Uh, it, it, all the songs were featured on the Captain Kangaroo show. Mm -hmm. And uh, the title, I actually sang the title cut, Time Can Be So Magic, and, a, and another uh, on there. But great writer, great musician, a fun guy to be with. Um, and trolling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bill says it's Garage Band. A garage Band, that's the one. That's it, GB, GB. Yep, yep. Thank so, God. Thank you, comment people. Thank thanks, you so Bill. much. <laughs> thanks, mate. <laughs> we appreciate it. So, oh, yeah, Dan Chaco wants to know, what kind of bike did you buy? I bought a Harley trike. There you I go. bought a tri-glide, uh, 2018 tri-glide. Um, I bought it two years ago. Oh, no, mm -hmm. three years ago. But it's still new to me. It's, yeah. Um, and I love it. It's a good one. Oh, it's very comfortable. Mm -hmm. Nice for long distances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Bill's been your buddy. Is this another picture of you with Bill? No, actually, no. but that's how I met him when I was okay. the drum major of the Ram Band at URI, he came um, He came down uh, during one of the, after a halftime show, and we re-met. And that was somewhere in the mid 70s. So um, then, you know, I started singing with him and such. Look at me talking with my hands. Oh, well. Did anyway, you, well, okay. They, did you have to ever tip back with the Q-tip hat on? I did. Drum major? I okay, did. Can, could you do that, like all the way back? Uh, not to touch the ground, but okay. I did. I went back pretty far. This is awesome. You know, and I grew up in Columbus, Burns. Ohio, where that's the famous thing that our drum makes. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But that that is a really impressive hat. This entire picture is extremely impressive, Leland. My I, actually, my head is all the way up inside to the top. It really, it, you're like a cone head. No, yeah. No, this actually, is good. that's not true. I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I can't. I mean, I like. Sometimes. If that's true, then I have to want to ask, what the heck happened, Leland? I, I was going to say. That, I had that hat because my fro was so big, but I, I didn't have a fro either. So. There's a slight Snoop Dogg look going on in this picture, which I roll, I'm totally here for. This is really good. For so, shizzle. you know, yeah, sipping on URI, laid yeah. back with my mind on my money and my money on my hat. Okay, so moving on, tell me about this picture. Okay, the guy on the right is Bill Thomas back in uh, 1960, probably 66. And this and, is a Kingston uh, Trio type thing? We had yeah, we used to do a lot of that. Uh, Chad Mitchell Trio. Um, oh, I can't even think of other things that we did. And Jim Cliver, the guy in the middle, it was from Philadelphia. And the three of us would get together and rehearse on board ship. We we're on a, a flight hangar deck, uh, elevator wow. rather, that takes uh -huh. the aircraft up from the hangar deck. Uh -huh. uh, doing a show, part of a show for the crew. Oh, cool! And um, and we got to sing. And if you notice, we're in civilian clothes. And mm -hmm. I was a non-com, non-commissioned officer, mm -hmm. and we were only allowed to wear civilian clothes for that. Otherwise, we weren't even supposed to have civilian clothes on board ship. Bill was an officer, so he could, mm -hmm. but Jim and I were just uh, we were just kids, you know. That is wonderful. I'll yeah. show you the last picture in a little bit, but I love okay. that. My dad also played on board uh, the USS Rankin in Subic Bay, Philippines. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I got a couple of pictures of him playing organ and sing-alongs on ship. So I totally get that, that, yeah, yeah doing sing-alongs, especially when you're in the service, is a yeah. wonderful thing to do for people. We, uh, yeah, we had so much fun. So much fun. So this is a song that Bill wrote. Oh, yes. So you give me the tempo, make sure I get it right. That's a good tempo. And he wrote this for the Captain Kangaroo show? This was one of the songs. I've been working since the morning, 
working, trying, walking on the day, trying to make a living, trying to make an honest pay. I said, ooh, I've been a working, working, don't you know what I say? Sorry, Bill. <laughs> but when I get on to your child, it's the best time of the day. Sometimes I'm early, honey, sometimes I'm late. Soon as I see a child, I'm feeling great. I said, Ooh, I've been working, working, don't you hear what I say? But when I get on to your child, it's the best time of the day. Please, brother, honey, honey, birds love to fly. I love you, darling, put a twinkle in my eyes. I said, Ooh, I've been working. Working don't be here when I stay. Get on to your child, it's the best time of the day. Come five o'clock, honey, quitting time's in. Chug it on home just to see you, my dear. I say, ooh, I've been working. Working don't you hear when I say. When I get home to your child, it's the best time of the day. Bet you wish there was a solo instrument right now. of the song. Oh Little Thomas, I apologize. I'll make it up to you. I'll play coffee next time we're together. <laughs> All right. Susan Edwards said that pictures bring back memories. Uh, oh, and yeah. She, I'm, Susan Edwards I met in the band at URI. So you're still friends with all those people you met in college. That's awesome. That's how I, I actually uh, met my wife. In college? Through, uh, in college. And uh, we got married 20 years after we met. I met both my husbands in college. Wow. And about the second one, uh, yes, I married him 20 years after we met. Wow. Well done, Leland. Well yeah. done, Fran. That's awesome. So, yes, love is lovelier the second time around. Um, but it's also good whenever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's a whole other show, Leland. It was, and it it is my second Mary, so yeah, that's true. That's a true statement. It is true, and we you know we we have some practice to do first, and then when we meet that person, that's you know just the right one, we're ready. Right, right, right. Yep. Don't regret a thing. We're just yep. happy now, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. Exactly, sure. exactly. So you said you're living in Florida because Fran does not like the cold. She like she hates the cold. I love my wife. I live in Florida. <laughs> She hates the cold. I love my wife. I live in Florida. That's kind of it, right? Yeah. There's yeah. a song. In a nutshell. Right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, Bill says, thanks very much. Kathleen Valley says, hi, Leland. Oh, Kathleen. Mm -hmm. From and, college also. Mm -hmm. All your yeah. college friends. My college friends don't watch my show. Well, we're still, just... we're still very good friends. That's really nice. Um, uh, 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 quick story. Okay. When Fran, there, there were three women in uh, Fran, Kathleen, and don't tell me, it'll come to me. Oh, shoot. I got a pick face right here. Mm -hmm. It's going to come uh, to us. Three women. Anyway, three women. One of them and they married. all had two children. Okay. And the first child they had were within like three three weeks on Fridays. Wow. Or something like that. Yeah. Okay. And then the second second child was close, pretty close together too, so that's close friendship. That is a close friendship. Um, 
so you come up to Rhode Island for summers. Oh, Fran, yeah. your wife is filling all this in. Cindy. Cindy. Ka- Kathleen Cindy is also Raffinelli. saying it. Cindy. Yes. And Nick Gross says hi, Leland. So yes, Leland's friends, fill in the gaps for him. Thank you. <laughs> Thank That's really you. nice of you. <laughs> oh, it's true. I don't remember half of what happened in the 80s anymore. Yeah. Um, but that's why my next guest, Laura, thank God, she remembers everything I'm trying to forget. So that's what friends do for us is they help us remember all the stuff we're yeah. trying to forget. That's their job. So and you can do that for other people. Um, but you come up to Rhode Island or you spend some summertime here. Yes. You're mostly Floridians. Yes. And you're also you do some work with Disney. Is that right? We used to work for Disney, but when um, when COVID-19 hit, um, they, of course, cut back on staff. And we were uh, a classification called seasonal. Mm-hmm. So we didn't work on a regular schedule, like full-time or part-time. We sort of worked when it was actually comfortable for us mm-hmm. and, uh, and when the work was available. But they terminated the seasonal people. Uh, December Ours was December 14th. Oh, and um, so at some, I would love to go back. So I'm sure I will be applying when things start to open up a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it, it gave me something everybody. to do, you know, mm-hmm. instead of sitting on the couch. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, shout out. If you're in Florida right now or you have connections in Florida, Leland sings. Leland performs. And I've had the honor of performing with him several times up here in Rhode Island. But he is in Florida. So if you want him to perform in Florida, uh, call him up. And my tube is in Florida, too. And his tube is in Florida, too. Yes. So if you're in the need for a jazz blues singer or a tuba player, he is your guy. And, yeah, he's really, really fun. Fun. Yeah, actually. So you want to sing a, a nice love song for your love? Sure. How about When I Fall in Love? I love that's my favorite song. I think that's her favorite song, too. When I fall in love It will be completely Or I'll never fall in love In a restless world like this is Love has ended before it's begun And too many moonlight kisses Seem to cool in the warmth of the sun If I give my heart It will be Forever, or I'll never give my heart. And the moment you feel that, I feel that way. is when I fall in love with you. Beautiful. I love that song. And that's a great song. It is a great song. I think I got to do that in high school, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, and you sound a little like Nat when you do it. I, he's the one that I think really turned me on to the song. Um, in fact, I love everything that Nat King Cole does. Yes. Yes. Can't do it all, but I love everything he does. Right. He had perfect pitch. Huh? He had perfect pitch. Oh, yeah, I know. And you can just tell, right? You can just hear, see him like in his, his television show. He would just like close his eyes and boom, start singing and in comes the orchestra. Like, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Did you awesome. know that he, he wasn't originally a singer? He was a piano player. Yes. And um, he really good was, one. Yeah, and he was in a club, <laughs> and this organ, this person of uh, a lot of clout mm-hmm. came into his into the club and said, "Ooh, 
I like this group. It was a trio. He said, tell, tell a piano player to, to sing Sweet Lorraine. Mm -hmm. And so the, the owner went up and said, please sing Sweet Lorraine. And he, he said, I don't, I don't sing. I'm a piano player. No. So the owner went back and said, I, he doesn't sing. He's a piano player. He said, you go tell him to play Sweet Lorraine. And if he doesn't, this is what's going to happen. So he went back to Nat King Cole and basically, I'll break your, I'll break your kneecaps, and uh, said, this is what he said. And and um, Nat, Nat looked around and went, I first found joy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as happy as a baby boy, you know, and started, and that's how he started singing. Threats work, ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. That's the moral of the story. Threats work. <laughs> I mean, I yep. think we can all learn something from that experience. Yeah. Threats work. Yep. Yeah. All right. So, Leland, I'm going to give you a little bit of a break because I'm okay. going to bring in another music educator. Okay. Actually, she's an educator, but she happens to be musical tonight. Yeah. So, I'm going to bring her in. Mrs. Laura. Hi. Hi Laura. Hello. We're having How a good How is everybody? Chat. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. So, Mrs. Laura is Laura Jonas McGaffick, and she's out in Westminster, Colorado. Yes. If I get it right. So Northwest yeah, side of Denver. The Eden Show is national. It, it is. is national. It's national. You're all and the way out here in the mountains. All the way in the mountains, and you got the pictures behind you. Of, I do. That's of, our wall of fame of our hunting dogs, Molly and Gemma, and their birds. The, right. I did so, not hunt them. My husband, Ed, did. That's right. So that's how you know it's Colorado. We know it's Leland's in Florida because we can see the Mickey Mouse behind him right there. We can see the mouse ears. And we know it's Colorado because we can see kills. So this is great. And we know it's Rhode Island because we can see nothing. And it's dark at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. That's how we know. So that's great. So, Leland, I'm going to give you a little break over here. All right. Mrs. Laura. Yes, Eden. What can I help you with today? Well, Mrs. Laura... I sometimes uh, want to be able to share the love of music with people. But yes. then they tell me, I don't play an instrument, Mrs. Laura. <gasps> so, and especially since Leland was on Captain Kangaroo, he would probably know something about this with his he friend Bill. He probably does. Right? So what can people do if they don't play music, but they still want to maybe try some music and they want to try to be a little more creative, especially during like a pandemic or something? Well, true. And if you're tired of singing in the shower and in the car... Mm -hmm. Or dancing in Target, which I have been known to do all three. You can play this really, really cool thing on your computer with mm -hmm. your kids, with your grandparents. You can all share it on a Zoom call um, and everybody can take a turn. And it's really, really easy to do. I'm telling you, anybody can do it. I like easy. Easy I like. And let What's me it tell called? you, it's called... Music Lab, music and it's lab. on, there it is right there, <gasps> Chrome Music Lab. And I have to tell you about my friend, Chrissy Duran, Okay. because she is the one who introduced me to this. She is not on here right now, but I know she's going to watch the recording. So watch. anyway, okay. Chrissy is the band director and music teacher at, instrumental music teacher at Stanley Lake High School, which is where my daughter Rebecca went to school. And she and I collaborate occasionally we can't do it this year but we mm -hmm. usually do um with an adaptive music class for a group of high school kids who have some extra needs let's say and they don't play instruments necessarily and they some of them are in choir some of them are not and some of them actually don't use words to communicate like everybody else does and these kids let me tell you have come up with some of the most beautiful music using this program. Mm -hmm. And they have so much fun doing it that I think everybody that's watching, hi, Chrissy Duran, mm -hmm. um, should do this. Right, so everybody whether you should make go music do it. or not, they're just Even fun to do, right? You cannot carry a tune in a bucket. It doesn't matter. Because what my big message is to everybody is that mistakes are fun. They are. Everybody. And if you remember that, then it's not going to be a big deal if you mess up. Um, Eden and I have known each other almost our whole lives. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, we were in band. And, oh, my goodness. You have those. Mm -hmm. Yes. They are guilty. Okay. I mean, really. Oh, and it lives God. on the internet that, forever. So there you go, boys and girls. There you go. <laughs> Look at my hair. Yeah. Okay. So. So you know she's legit. 
I you know yeah, she's legit. I yeah. am. And let me tell you, right. Eden, Eden had this incident in her life. When oh, we no, were, we're going to tell this story now? Can we're going to tell it now? now? Do you want me to tell it now or do you want me to wait? Oh, no, go ahead because then we can recover from it by actually doing the thing. That's right because I want to talk about the thing your dad said. Okay. So I think we're, we're what, sixth grade? Something mm-hmm. like that. Sixth grade we're and it was January of house, 1982. And we're latchkey kids. So there's no adult supervision kids. Right. None. Parents did not um, occupy our time. We were left to our own devices. Eden's parents had a wood stove. Yeah. We knew how to light a fire in the wood stove. Mm-hmm. Eden cleaned out the ashes, put them in the plastic garbage can in the carport. We lit a new fire in the wood stove. Yeah. Lo and behold, a little bit later on in the morning, we go, I smell smoke. Do you smell smoke? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, those ashes that Eden put in the, the garbage can, they were not cold. They were still warm. And they lit the carport on fire. It's true, boys. Yes, and, girls. and we were babysitting Eden's little sister, Liana, <laughs> who it's was she, what six at the time, maybe eleven. We oh, no, she was six. We, were, we were eleven. 11. She we was were like 11. six. Yeah. Um. So we ran through. I don't, we had snow. I remember. And I had to make you put your shoes on before we left the house because you were going to go run to the neighbor's house with no yes. shoes on. Run to the neighbor's house, call the fire department. The fire department comes. Guess who's behind the fire truck? Eden's mom. Yep. Yeah. Um, I go home, find out later. Eden, of course, had to sit and talk to her parents about... And the fire marshal. And the fire marshal <laughs> about the mistakes she made. Ron Castile, I love you. He says this to her. Eden... Sometimes you do dumb things, but we still still love love you. you. My own children have heard that many, many times. They've actually heard the story a few times. They ask me to tell it, Eden. They really do. It's a good story. It's a great story. Yeah, Sarah's going, oh man, it it actually is true. And uh, yeah, and Laura was the witness that day. That's how long we've known each other. So basically, if Laura tells you something's good, you can believe her because she just told that story. And why would she lie about something like that? I I couldn't make that one up. No, nobody can make that one up because it never should have happened. (laughs) But it did. And so be it. All right. So now I'm going to share screen and you get to do this and redeem. Yes. And I'm now I'm going to teach you. So Chrissy Duran and I used this program which Mm -hmm. is free anybody just go on click on the thing and go there (laughs) you can see it has lots of little fun pictures on there yeah eden i would like you to click on the monkey i'm gonna click on the monkey monkey there in front of the timpani yep see it says view them right there so i click on that arrow on that arrow and if you look down underneath the monkey there's some dots i see dots okay you don't have you don't have to know music for this right can you click just click the dots okay just I'm click on a few dots. Oh, cool. Okay. Watch. Now, you see that little play button? Right here. Mm-hmm. Click the play button. You just made music. I can add piano to it. You could. Yes. See how fun that is? Mm-hmm. It's Did good you make music. any mistakes? Not nearly as bad as a fire. Right. <laughs> So on a, on a scale between this and a fire, and I take and setting this. your house on fire, it's like I would negative one. Totally right? take this. Yes. So what if you great. don't? Let me let me tell you something. Let's say you didn't like where one of those triangles was, or you want to add more. Okay. Just click Keep on, on click in. Yes. Oh, like this. You can like just redo it. it. Try it again. <gasps> Isn't that fun? Now it sounds like a little bit of uh, I don't know Aaron Copeland. A little bit of Aaron it's Copeland. Great. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> And like then there's all kinds of things in the rhythm section for you to do. But the one I want you to do, because mm-hmm. I don't know if you all know this, but Eden's a bit of an artist. I'm a bit of everything. She is. Anyway. So click on the one with the little circle on it. The little circle? With the, this? Right below the monkey. Right. Oh, this one. Yes. Kandinsky. I've heard of Kandinsky. Yeah, have you heard of Kandinsky? He is an yeah. artist. As much as any musician has. Right. So what I want you to do mm-hmm. is in that white space... Mm-hmm. Draw me a picture. Okay. Uh, oh, pressure. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Just put some lines on there. <gasps> the lines Look at what sense. they're doing. Oh, that's cool. And I can hit play? 
you hit play and we'll hear your song. We'll hear your piece of art. Ooh. I read something recently that said something to the effect of art decorates things, but music decorates space. I like that. Isn't that neat? I bet yeah. Leland would like So that. you can choose a different color and it will make a different sound. <laughs> Eden, you're doing such a good job. Oh. Requires no musical knowledge, and you can no. create a song. And if you are musical, sometimes it's such a relief just to let somebody it else make is. the music. And yeah. if you are musical, maybe it gets you a little bit out of your head and thinking about things too much. Oh, I like and that. Just too. remembering that why do you make music? Because mm -hmm. it's fun. It is fun. And it brings you joy, and it brings other people joy, and that's what we're all about, right? It is what we are all about. Everyone needs to know that they make someone else happy. There, there you got that some eyes. That makes a smiley face for me, like it knows what I'm doing. <laughs> Isn't that so much fun? And, you know, on this page, there mm -hmm. are all kinds of things you can do besides these. These are just two really simple these are very, very fun. Do you see this, ladies and gentlemen? Look how many there are. There are all these really yes. fun games. And, and it's all do... free. Yeah. And just, you know, there's no directions, which is kind of intimidating for a lot of people. Yes, I like following the rules. Because it doesn't tell you how to do it. Yeah. So you just, ha you're forced to explore. You're forced to get out of mm -hmm. your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And you have to just play. Be your little kid and play. Somebody oh, good. Wrote, I'm glad, yeah. Sarah. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody, Steve, is that I can't hear the monkey. So that might have been me that I didn't share the audio. But that means you can go mm -hmm. to Chrome that, Music Lab go. on your own. Yes. And you can play it. It's really, really fun. And thank you, yeah. Mrs. Laura, for You're sharing welcome. these with us. I really, I'm really appreciate it. it. I'm going to give you Mr. Rogers music. <gasps> oh, thank you. Because, you know, Mr. Rogers is one of my heroes. I would want Are you me. wearing a cardigan right now? You know, I was, but it was a little warm out here in Colorado. It's all of, what, 35 degrees and the sun is shine was shining until a little bit ago. Well, isn't and it it's like it's going to be 70 degrees in Colorado tomorrow? Isn't that how Oh, uh, probably. Is? Yeah. yeah. And snow in the mountains. And snow it's in okay. Mountains. We're <laughs> flexible that way. We believe in layers. <laughs> I have fleece for every kind of layer that you can imagine in clothing. It is very true. That's the Colorado uniform. You are perfect just the way you are. That's right. And I love you because you tried. Thank you, Mrs. Laura. You're welcome, you can check Katie. out Mrs. Laura's website. Um, her Facebook page is Mrs. Laura's Nest on yes. Facebook. And if you have any other questions just about neurodiversity or learning, she is or there to answer for just you. Just kids. Or you just want to hear some more crazy stories about yes. me and <laughs> other things that I've set on fire. She can probably do that too. I could probably tell you that. Yep. Yeah. So thank you very, very much, Mrs. Laura. We appreciate you. You are much. so welcome, Eden. I miss you, dear. I miss you too. I love yeah, you. Yeah, Leland says hello. Dude, we have fun. <laughs> hello, Mr. Leland. Mr. Leland. Thank you very much, Ms. Laura. You're welcome. Wow. Wasn't that fun? That, that's amazing. I wish I wish that had been around when I was my early teaching years. Um, there's so many ways I could have used that. There's so much good technology yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I taught K through eight music as well, and K through twelve. And I mean, I still I have all of my resources are like in the basement, right? And giant, yep. you know, containers and things like that. Because I keep on thinking I'm going to need them this day. But now we have stuff like that, and and that's helped a lot of teachers survive. Music teachers during this pandemic. That's been right, really good. right. So if you have anybody, you know, th those that resource is available to all. It's a really fun resource, no matter what. So and if you yeah. have other resources, I think you should send them in. Yes, if you want to comment on there. So now it is time for you, actually, all of you who are watching, I need your resources from you because it's time for Leland to play Sounds Like a Song. Sounds like a song. So what he has to do <laughs> is he has to sing whatever first line you give him. Whatever first line you give him. So I've gotten a couple from people right off the bat. So I'm going to actually check my Facebook and see what people said first. <laughs> So it was a couple of days ago, and it was such a good one. Erica did. So I'm going to look and see which one she said. And, and if you can, let it be something about the weather, if that's possible. Okay, here's the first one. Are you ready? No. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> I'm vexed by the polar vortex. I'm, I'm vexed, vexed 
by the polar vortex. vortex. So I'm going to give you some music, and you just have to make something up that has that in it. I'm vexed by the polar vortex. I'm vexed by the polar vortex. Not only I'm I confused, but also my dog Rex. There. That's all I had to do. <laughs> Thank you, Erica, very much. All right. Here's another one. This is Sarah Campbell's. It's called It's Snowing in Texas. <laughs> it's Snowing in Texas. It's snowing in Texas. Everybody's getting cold. It's snowing in Texas. And it's covering all the roads. So people need to stay home and be safe from the cold. Very good. Yay. Yay. All right. Here's Karen Besson's I Toblerone You. <laughs> now, it's not weather related, but it's Karen Besson, so she gets what she wants. That's true. I Toblerone I You. All right. How am I going to play for I Toblerone? Oh, I might need strings for this. I might need strings for this. I think you're so sweet You're always on my mind It's because you take my thoughts away <laughs> But most of all When you come into view I Toblerone you not bad. Boom. All right. Karen Besson's on fire. She's got another one here. Pl plow your way to my heart. Plow your way to my heart. Let's see here. What am I going to do? Uh, I've loved you for so long. Always want to see you around. When I get my chance, I'm going to see you come around cause I'll plow my way to your heart yes boom okay here's another one um my is this Tracy Wood my heart is in Florida with you whenever I travel I think of other places, not where I am, but where you are. And so I now send my arms to you. I forgot the line of the song. My heart is in oh. Florida. Oh, yeah. I fall my way to your heart. <laughs> Yes. I should write these down. Uh, you know, maybe one of those days that producer of the Eden Show will figure out a way to get all of these suggestions over to... Oh, oh I like it. I, I look, yeah. Yeah. On a banner or something. Yeah, yeah. If only yeah. there was like, you know, another hand. Yeah. <laughs> I could do that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sarah knows. Sarah, Sarah Campbell has been trying to teach me how to kind of like, you know, different live stream programs. And there's yeah. a really good one. We were almost going to do but it didn't quite work out. So maybe oh, next no. week, maybe next, next week we'll have it we all worked out. Yeah, but okay, here's another one. Uh, Steven Endres, it never snows in Southern California. Let's see. It's raining. Yes, it's raining. Sometimes it's sunny or cloudy or bright. But it never rains in California, snows in California. But tell me, I'm telling you, that's all right. Yes, thank God. Right? <laughs> Although, didn't they, didn't Malibu have snow earlier this year? I don't know. Stephen, did Malibu have snow earlier this year? I think it did. So basically, you know, there's there's ice in Texas. It's one degree at the Mexican border. Cats and dogs living together. Mass hysteria. 
probably the you know the start of the end times but i don't know yeah and stephen says yes it did snow in south california so so that's one of those things you know it never snows in california superman you know never touches kryptonite it just it, it happens Okay, here's another one. Oh, Sarah says, dang, you two are good at this. Thank you. So when you're a music educator, you sometimes have to think on your feet, right? Or when you're a performer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to make stuff up. It's really fun. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, oh, here's one from Sarah. Is that thunder snow? Is that thunder snow? I hear that rumble, it's all aglow. I hear that rumble, I hope it doesn't go. Is it thunder snow? <laughs> it's been many things, but I hope it's not thunder snow. All right. When I get my fancy keyboard, I'll do like sound effects. Oh, okay. Okay. But that was pretty, pretty good. Oh yeah. Tracy says it was 23 here today day. And I wore flip flops, Fran. It was a heat wave. <laughs> okay. Here's another one. Oh, Sarah Campbell. Tracy Wood. Okay. I know who that is. Francis Brown says it was 87 degrees here yesterday. Yeah. Thanks Francis. Oof. I, I actually had to take my jacket off. Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry. And, I'm so very, very sorry. It, it still hadn't gotten to the point that I had to put in long pants. I'm still wearing shorts. Oh, my God. You're right. Oh, it's good grief. These not, Now they're getting worse. Okay, there's a gale in my sails. You have one of those. Now, see, now, they're, now they're all on fire. Now they all want this. Um, <laughs> or, okay, you have your choice. You can do this. Is your last one. Either there's gale in my sails or, dear weatherman, please stop lying. Which one do you want? <laughs> you want that one. It, it, actually, either one is good. Um, okay. I put on my jacket to go outside. When I got to the door, I went back inside. I took off my jacket, put on my hat. When I got to the door, I knew it wasn't that. These changes keep me crying crying all the time but if the weatherman keeps on lying <laughs> i won't have any time oh that was an excellent way to end that that was fantastic Dear weatherman, please don't lie. So yes, there'll be little uh, clips of this showing up over the course of the week, you know, to help promote promote the next Eden show. That was good, Leland. That was that was good. Sometimes we get lucky. Sometimes we get lucky. Sometimes we have a really good guest who makes it easy for us. So uh, you're clearly that. So if you. you're really enjoying the show, yes, you can buy me a coffee. I don't mind. I'm not going to stop you. It's at buymeacoffee.com at Eden Castile or Venmo Eden slash Castile or Eden dash Castile dash one. And so now, Leland, we've come actually to almost the end of the hour. Oh. So please subscribe on YouTube uh, to the Eden show. Thank you, Francis Brown, for the subscription. We appreciate it. So yes, Francis Brown. So yes, you can be a subscriber to the Eden Show, and that way you'll never miss an episode on Friday nights at seven o'clock Eastern. Oh, so, Leland, yes. um, you want to do a little? You want to do "Our Love Is Here to Stay" or "Ain't Misbehaving"? Ooh, I, I know, tough. I'm making him choose. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to let about you choose. Ain't misbehaving. Okay. Do all do the viewers agree? Whoever comes in first, they get to do it. All right, so Ain't Misbehaving is one he wants to do. Is somebody write in and say, yeah, you can do Ain't Misbehaving. We're going to do Ain't Misbehaving. <laughs> so, All right. Hey. Let's see about that. A flat, right? Yes. About like that? that sounds good. Thank you for watching The Eden Show tonight. We so appreciate. Yes, we do. to talk with all by myself no one to walk with but i'm happy on the shelf 
be misbehaving, sleeping all my love for you. And not setting anything on fire. I know for certain the one that I love. I'm through with flirting with you that I'm thinking of misbehaving, saving all my love for you. Ooh, like Jack Horner in the corner, don't go nowhere. What do I care? Your kisses are worth waiting. Leave me now. I don't sit out late. I don't get a go. I'm home about ages. Me and my radio ain't misbehaving, saving all my love for you. I'm saving, saving all my love for you. Thank you, Leland Brown, for being my guest on The Eden Show tonight. It was my pleasure. And, and just so you know, I, I set my house on fire when I was in third grade. Yes.